We've been getting a lot of questions today from you asking about the true meaning of this new bill. Also, if there were any warning signs that things could get this ugly. Our Eyewitness News reporter Emily Longnecker spoke with an expert who testified before lawmakers on religious freedom before it was passed. Emily? Jenny and Scott, concern was expressed by some legal experts that this law would not be received well by some whose rights it seemed to ignore. Now today we spoke to one legal expert that says the governor's move to clarify this law may just be too little too late. Before RFRA became a law, IU Law Professor Is Robert Katz told the House Judiciary Committee Indiana didn't need it. There was no great outcry in the state of Indiana from religious people that they were being persecuted. And if this law had been uh, not enacted, there would have been no exodus of religious people from the state of Indiana fleeing persecution. Instead, the exodus has come from businesses, conventions, even other states, saying they're boycotting Indiana because they believe RFRA supports discrimination. I wish, uh, I wish they hadn't enacted the law. It wasn't necessary. I wish they had taken more time to think about how it would be perceived by gays and lesbians. In our state. No. And it hasn't been perceived well. We've got a perception problem here because some people have a different view. And we intend to correct that. Now Governor Mike Pence wants legislation to clear up the bill's intent, saying it doesn't give businesses the right to discriminate or deny services to anyone. But at this point, um, I think that train is, has left the station. Professor Katz says an amendment could be added, saying RFRA doesn't override local anti-discrimination laws. But what about the Indiana towns and counties that don't have a local law? For those people, uh, the only response that will satisfy them that they will be protected is to amend the State Civil Rights Act to ban discrimination uh, based on sexual orientation and gender identity. The other option says Katz revoke our FRA altogether. I think religious people have nothing to fear from revoking it and um, if they share the concern as I'm sure they do about this horrible image that Indiana is projecting to the rest of the country uh, then they should support revoking it too and saying you know what this was this was a mistake and Indiana Democratic leaders calling for the law to be repealed today citing the nev negative impact it's had on the state's image and also expressing concern for all the economic fallout Emily Longnecker Channel 13 Eyewitness News